Hey everybody, we're on to our next walking stick. Look at this beautiful piece. This is a stick of cherry, actually. Uh, had this for a little bit. I had to wait for it all to dry. Let's see if you can get a good shot of the top there. It has a nice dark hardwood. Uh, beautiful dark brown color. Uh, it's about 54 inches high. Uh, four and a half feet. It's about an inch and five eighths at the top. Inch and, inch and an eighth, inch and a quarter at the bottom. So honestly, it's almost in its perfect shape. So the first thing we're going to do. Let's take off all this bark, get down all these little nibs where the uh, branches were, and let's get down to some nice hardwood, see what it looks like. We've stripped the bark off and some beautiful coloration underneath. This stick's going to be gorgeous once we put some oil on. Turned out really well and kind of made a mess debarking, but that's expected. So just beneath the handle, in this section here, so we got a nice handle shaped out right there, little top part for, I think I'm going to put a lanyard in, but under here I want to do a twist. So just laying out the, uh, the lines to make a little twist, we're going to do that maybe with the Dremel, maybe, uh, maybe by hand, haven't decided yet. What we have here is a uh, Cutsall Burr, Cutsall uh, Original Coarse Grit, and we'll do the, uh, the twist pattern. Switched over to a flame bit. Hopefully that comes in focus there. 
Also from Cutsall. So we moved on to the next section, which I'm just going to be wood car um, wood burning actually a little wood burning tool. One of my favorite sayings: uh, "The sky above, earth below, peace within." I really like that one on uh, on walking sticks. So we're just going through. We transferred it with a little bit of carbon paper. Just printed it out on a printer and uh, transferred it little carbon paper and now just going through and finishing up a little uh, little calligraphy tip some of the curves are a little tougher to do but uh, you just take your time on a high heat this is hardwood so it's uh, it's going a little bit slower than let's say a pine wood but uh, I think it's gonna come out nice We're on to putting the rubber foot on the base, a little 7 8 rubber foot. Got the circle template there again, 13 16 so we Just center that as best as possible. And we'll trim down with the uh, spoke shave, get it down to be able to fit that foot in. So I think we're getting close to putting on some finish. Got a little top part here, a little hole for the uh, lanyard. I went through. The handle is going to fit here. Nice spiral that we saw made. The wood burning. And then tapered down to where the little uh, rubber foot is going to go in. We're going to put a little bit of teak oil on. And then we're going to do something different with the finish. We're going to, uh, we're going to polish it up. Um, so stay tuned for that. It'll be in the show you how to do that. Something different, especially for hardwood. It's something new I've been doing, and uh, it really turns out great. It gives a nice finish to it. So let's put on some finish and let's get to it. So we're just going to put on some uh, teak oil. I find that's a very good finish, especially on a hardwood like this. I think it's going to make these colors pop. Especially when you see the uh, see the inside, the heartwood, nice dark wood, incredible wood. Sometimes you luck out on these finds. 
Let's see what's a good angle for you. There. Oh yeah, look at that. Making all those nice colors pop. That's going to be a beauty when it's finished. I'm going to keep putting on the oil. And then we'll move on to that, uh, that next step, that polishing step, which I told you about. So while the finish is drying, I want to make a little loop for the, uh, for the rope that's going to go around, a little lanyard. So what I have is a uh, somewhat thicker piece of leather. I'm just going to mark out an inch and a half. Just a little something at the end of the rope, uh, just give it a little, a little relief for the wrist when you use it. Save that for later. What we're going to do is put the loop through, I think just a uh, little black power cord. And at the end of it, or at the, at the end loop for your wrist, it's just going to sit there. Um, add a little more comfort, I think, than just a, just a simple rope. So what we're going to do is uh, round off the corners, put a few holes in. a piece of wood.
So we're finally at the point of putting a nice polish on this stick. I mean, look at this grain that's popped out. It's beautiful. Now the oil's made a nice finish, uh, the teak oil, but I think we can do better. So the, what I found with hardwoods is if you take a uh, four aught steel wool, doesn't work so well on softwood. I find it leaves more scratches than anything else. But on hardwoods, it makes a beautiful finish. So you just grab yourself a little bundle. And with the grain, just start polishing. Now this one makes the surface super soft. Uh, really nice to hold. Makes it almost like a like a wax finish, but just a beautiful shine, especially on hardwoods. Does take a little bit of elbow grease. So I imagine there's got to be a good hour, maybe two hours working on this whole stick, getting it to a final final point. But what you want to do is go with the grain and just keep going until you make a fantastic shine to it. I'm already starting to see the shine come out here on the tip. See it there on the end grain. But a nice finish. I mean I sanded the whole thing down to about 400 but this adds it brings it to a whole other level. I mean the 400 feels rough compared to what's happening here with just this steel wool. So let's keep going and then we're gonna put the lanyard in with the leather that we uh, created before. And we'll be close to done. So let's uh, let's get through this. So it's time to connect the lanyard. What we have here is just a piece of uh, power cord, uh, left over from uh, one of the other rolls. Pretty much all I had left out of fifty feet. So let's uh, let's use that. So we're gonna pass it through the hole. Take our little piece of leather that we had. Form the loop. And you sort of see what, uh, what we're going to be doing with it. Now the tricky part here is trying to pass it through a second time. A little tight. There we go. So what we're going to do have the, the loop and that little piece of leather right where your hand's going to rest. Take your free end again, form the other side. A little tricky to figure out what length you want. I think that's not so bad. Maybe a bit tighter. And what we're going to do is uh, just a series of just a little half hitch on each side. Get them real close to one another. So that way, as you uh, as you apply more pressure, they bind one against the other. This, of course, will center itself. Let me see if I can get you a close-up of what we did here. So just two half hitches. The loose end on that side and the other loose end here. So you got two half hitches and the more you pull on it the more these want to bind one against another. So you just trim off the excess 
And that's going to be your loop. A nice, soft, flexible leather that we've uh, polished up. You see that nice shine? That sits right on the wrist. No, because uh, I don't like always when the lanyard cuts into you. But here, that's a nice, nice, flexible, very soft even as you turn. So you can walk all day and that gives nice support. Very adjustable. So if you wanted it shorter, you just have to tighten it up. I think that's going to look nice. Let me, go, let me know what you guys think of that. That's something different, but uh, I like it. I think that's going to work out real nice.